Hi, I'm Mark Pascal from Restaurant Guys Radio. And I'm Francis Schott, also from Restaurant Guys Radio. Today we're going to make you a cocktail whose ingredients aren't made a la minute. Today the ingredients we're going to be using are from things that were made months ago, things we put together and put up months ago. You know, often when you go to a bar, you see things like lemons, limes, apples, sometimes pineapples, and hopefully some mint. But you don't always see things like this. These are fruits that we put up last summer. It's tough when you live in a, in a temperate climate to eat locally all year round. And we certainly don't eat 100% locally, but we like to take advantage of local produce all year round. In the kitchen, and the same rules apply to the bar as apply in the kitchen. And so what we do is we put up fruits in the summertime. And here I have some strawberries put up in vodka. I have some apples put up in Sambuca and some pears here that are put up in Anis. Uh, some cherries and maraschino and um, these little babies are a new experiment for us these are nectarines that we put up they're absolutely delicious we put them up last September um, they were at the height of their season and they are local uh, and we put them up in a little bit of uh, Cointreau and you can see that they're, 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 they've held their shape and the skin is barely holding on uh, to the meat and the meat and the texture of the meat is beautiful um, but these things are really Believe it or not, very expensive to make because you can put up fruit in alcohol. I'm try. You can put up fruit in alcohol, um, but but uh, whereas you, you don't need to put up uh, vegetables in alcohol. But fruit in alcohol is a real treat. But it's very expensive because there's a lot of Cointreau in this jar as well as pears. So it's the, the whole idea here, when we're when we're putting two different things together, the fruit and the alcohol, is we want to make something that's better than the sum of the parts. We, the whole idea is here, one and one equals three, basically the sum being better than the sum of the parts. Well, and also the, the, the thing is we need to be able to use both the fruit and the liquor that's left, and because it's very expensive to do. So this is the only way it's, it's feasible to do is if you use both. So we've come up with a very simple drink. Again, it's very simple for what we're doing today, but putting up those fruits with uh, some star anise and some sweet spices, as well as some... Uh, uh, as well as some uh, clove and other, and other spices, uh, you know, took a lot of care. So in a way, this drink is very quick a la minute, and in a way, this drink took seven months to make. Remember, all the work here happened months ago. Here I'm putting in some of the juice from the jar you see just there. I moved it into a smaller container just so it was a little bit easier to manage into a shot glass. And what Fress is doing here is basically equal parts. It, it's equal parts this Cointreau nectarine liqueur that we've created, and equal parts the Altasora Plata. And you definitely want to use for this drink a silver tequila or a plata tequila. Because the wood, for, the wood from one of those, uh, from, from a yellow tequila, will just get in the way of this drink. You won't see the, the pretty clear, pristine flavors that we want to show. And Francis is shaking that, that cocktail vigorously with our beautiful big ice cubes, which we're very, very proud of. We call this drink a red-headed stepchild. And you see that I've split it up into two glasses because Mark and I, well, we can't really. That's why I always get the little one. I don't know. It's because I made the drink. Um, we call the drink a red-headed stepchild because, uh, well, it's got a red hue to it. And, and the, the juice is sort of the stepchild of the process. And we make utilization of everything. But it's a great way to eat locally. Let's try it. And drink and, locally. Mm -hmm. oh, that's delicious. Awesome. Uh, you want to find taste out? the clove and the anise and, the, and uh, the, the silver tequila. Great marriage of flavors. If you want to find out more about cocktails and eating locally and drinking locally and all that's great about cocktails and restaurants, check out the restaurant guys at restaurantguysradio.com.